Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for July 5th, 2023. It's the peak of the week. Once again, we are going over the hump and it's all downhill from here. How was your 4th of July yesterday? Mine was meh, to be honest. I mean, we had the usual bombardment of pro-level fireworks displays, but it wasn't as joyful as when the kids were still here and we would all be set up on the balcony with drinks and music, you know, we, kids would be singing patriotic songs. So it was kind of sad in a way and a little bit scary because the side of the mountain by our neighborhood caught on fire. And it's close enough where we could actually see the flames. Thank God for the SBFD who quickly had it controlled and put it out before it spread any further. I was like, our roof, our roof, our roof is on fire if we let the motherfucker burn. Yes, it'd be on fire. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah, our roof is just covered with plywood right now. The roofers hasn't put the fire resistant shingles on there yet. So if that fire had spread, I wouldn't be here today. Thank God. And thank you, firefighters of San Bernardino for saving us. You are my hero. So let's unite our voices and sing our theme song to start the show with solidarity that we are all integral parts of the same machine. We are one. Here we go. better when we could all sing in unison. Yes, so coffee talk time. Grab a cuppa and let's spill some tea. Last night, the fireworks were booming all night long, all night, all night, all night long. Yeah. At the end, they were exploding all at once like a machine gun. It's hard to sleep. It's like they're running out of time, so they want to like use up all of the fireworks that they bought for the year. <laughs> because there was still so many un unlit, so they had to light them up all at the same time, I guess, because it was like boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh, yeah. So remember yesterday, on yesterday's show, I was talking about feeling out of sorts. Yeah, I still feel that. And the roofers were just banging on the top of the big blue house like there's no tomorrow. And I was trying my best to ignore them, but the dust was falling. I don't know if you noticed, 
while I was doing my show yesterday, the dusts were falling on me and it was triggering my allergies and tickling my throat and I had a cough attack during the show. And for that, I apologize. Today, the roofers did not come, but maybe they'll be here later. But for now, it's quiet, thank God. It's quiet at the home front. Yeah, so with this cold flu virus invasion I'm warring against, plus the roofers intruding my crown, I'm feeling kind of sticky. Sticky icky. You know, like uncomfortable, kind of unstable and unsafe. Especially this morning when I found the front door unlocked. And it was closed, but the top and bottom locks were, were not locked. And you know, as a Taurus, the bull, my topmost priority in keeping house is security. Yes. If I hadn't been working on my chakras, I would have freaked out finding the entrance to my domain open. Yeah, but meditation has kept me from being the nervous wreck that I am or that I once was. Sometimes I still fall into that trap of my anxiety and nervous tension. Yeah. But the sun in Cancer, remember the glyph? Sideways 69 and this symbol here of the sun in Cancer and the moon still in Aquarius. It is doing a number on me. How about you? Yeah, my emotions are rebelling with my ego while my heart is resisting the revolution. Get small. It's like, I just want to be left alone to reflect on my transformation. It's like the cocoon that I've broken through. I've definitely broken through the cocoon. But that cocoon was so comfortable. You know, it's like really cozy in there. So I just want to go back and burrow in it. Just a little longer. I think it's because I'm still sick and I just can't shake it off. But don't worry, I'm resilient. I take a licking but keep on ticking. <laughs> like that, that watch, Timex, I think. That was their um, slogan. But I will persevere and overcome. I shall overcome. So the color of the day is purple. Violet, if you want to get technical. But it's the highest vibrational light in the visible spectrum. The top color of the rainbow. Today, let purple rain Fall down upon you, covering you with divine royalty. Yes, purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you in the purple rain. Yes, laughing in the purple rain. I think that's the lyrics. Yes, R.I.P. Prince, my royal prince, yes. And my co-host, Amaranthin, is here to help us open, activate, and balance the crown chakra. My purple pony with a silver horn and silver wings wants to chant the mantra for the crown chakra. Aum. Yes, that is the mantra for the crown chakra. The ruling energy of the day 
It is called the Sahasrara in Sanskrit. Do you remember what it means? Yes, thousand petaled. But the petals of the crown chakra is actually infinite. Okay, here's the symbol on my chakra shawl. The center of the circle is the origin of consciousness. The singularity of creation where the petals of awareness begins to open and expand eternally towards cosmic consciousness, concentric circles of petals that bloom forever to full consciousness. Yes, the crown chakra is our connection to our supreme self and God. It is the seventh chakra of our primary, um, seven primary chakras. It's the highest chakra, the seventh one right there. And the flow of energy is directly from above the crown of the head. So there is no triangle in the symbol, right? Just circles like a hole like here circle circle circles right like the hole in the head of a fetus the soft spot of an infant crown the spot where the spiral of the hair starts and um is the sound of the primordial, eternal, divine nature of the human being and its relationship with all of humanity, creation, God, the whole universe. Um, the hand position is pinkies up, the rest clasped, and the hand is pointing upward. Okay. Um, So turn your consciousness inward by repeatedly chanting Aum and meditate on its meaning. To me, it means I am. It sounds like that too. I am, I am. Repeatedly chanting that is like putting yourself in that meditative state where you're just um, in that space where you just are, you know, just a state of being, you know, sound vibration, light energy, right? No sense of identity, just a state of divine consciousness in an empty, solid space, a voidless void where there is nothing and everything all at once. Did dig? I wish you all a lovely day and try not to complicate things, okay? That reminds me of a song by Avril Lavigne, Complicated. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like you're somebody else gets me frustrated. Life like this, you, and you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and you turn into honesty and promise me I'll never find you faking. No, no, no. Something like that. That was in 2002. So keep it simple. Express your feelings. Feel free to feel the feels. It's okay. 
but express them in creative and productive ways so that you can understand your emotions. At the same time, release negative energies such as fear, guilt, anger, and jealousy. Unblock all your chakras, starting from the root to the crown, and get them all spinning synchronistically aligned with each other and the frequency of the universe. Then you will know God, the real you, the creator and the creation, the dream and the dreamer. Reflect on these Bible passages as you chant, Aum. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Aum. John 1, 1 and 3. The next one is from Revelation 3, 14 through 22. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen. 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 The faithful and true witness, the beginning of of the creation of God. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.